Hi, and welcome to another lesson in our series of SOLIDWORKS training tutorials. In this lesson, I'll continue to look at MATE references and how they can help speed up your assembly modelling. So let's get into it. Okay, so we've got an existing assembly open here called MATE reference. And in that we've got a part called connector. So I'm going to open up that part and we're going to create a mate reference in that part, but we'll do it outside of the, the assembly. So come along to the features tab. This is our part open now. So you can see a connector, three pin female on top. So features, and if we come across the reference geometry and get mate reference. So our primary reference then is this face and we want a coincident. But we want to flip the alignment, so we'll choose anti-aligned. So when the part comes in, and it'll be clear when you see the part that it's actually going to mate with it. So it'll, it'll be clear then when you see it why we anti-aligned it. So the second reference then is this one. And again, it's coincident. And again, it's going to be anti-aligned. So it's like flipping the mate, if you like. And then the third one then, treasury one, is this face. And again, it's coincident, but this time it's aligned and again as I say um, stick with me on this one when you see the part in it kind of become clear and I'll talk about this again so click close on that and we've got our little mate reference and I probably should have renamed that I could have done that in the part and a definition you can name it in here or we could have named it outside of just a light left click on it so let's just name that plug so we call that plug and click OK. So it's my new mate reference on that. So when I close this down and save the changes, you'll see that it's again in the assembly now and you'll see our mate reference in there in a part in an assembly called plug. So next I'm gonna open up the, the other part, the male part of the connector pin, just to show you before we bring it in. So we've got a mate reference in there and it's the connector one is the one I'm interested in. So you can see the, and if I flip it around that way, it's just so you can see. So you can imagine our part was kind of sitting in there. So that was the first one and anti-aligned because we wanted that. If that aligned, it would kind of end up kind of sitting that way, sort of flush with our, our part. And same with that, it would have been kind of the other way. So that's why we did anti-aligned, but then that one there was aligned because it's going to, when we look down on the top, you'll see that our part just aligns with that. So just a quick look at the, the connector made reference that's going to work with this. So I can close that down. That was just us in looking. So we're in the assembly again. And now if I insert component and I take in that male connector again and offer it up to it, you can see it's jumping in. It's got its mates and everything already done so if I flick over here you can see I've got that mate and you can see where my anti-align works now so you can see that that face mates with that this face mates with this and then these ones are aligned that way a really quick easy way so if you're using connectors like that or if you can think of anything in your own case um, in your own point in case you know it's much, much quicker kind of for bringing parts in, particularly if you're going to use them over and over again. And as I said in previous videos, you know, if you wanted to store these in, in your design library, create little folders and add parts to your design library, it makes life really easy for creating assemblies and not dragging and dropping parts in. I mean, that's, that's what SolidWorks is all about. It's about making life easy for yourself. So, um, well worth the few minutes. And again, if you go back to my previous video, You'll see as well, you can kind of create these little, um, so, I can hear, so you can create these little mate references on the fly. So if you create a part and you kind of decide, you know, you got, you could do with that, you can actually create the mate references. We'll check back on that previous video to see how to do that as well. So as you're assembling the parts, you can create the mate references as well. That's just a quick demo why you might use the, the mate reference. And as I say, it's well worth the, the time to spend on it. If you have any questions about this video or if you'd just like to leave a comment, feel free to pop one in the comments below. I'll try to reply as to as many as I can 
Um, while you're here, if you feel you got some value from this, if you could hit that like button and subscribe to my channel, I'll be posting new content every week or even sooner. And thank you for watching. So hope to see you again soon. Bye for now.